Welcome to VDG Sports. I am your host, Vince Douglas Gregory. MLB lockout is upon us. It's a lockout because let's just say there's no CBA agreement. And if I was to point the finger at anyone, it will be at Major League Baseball because look who it's ran by. Manfred. Yes, that guy. The person, the commissioner, Rob, who said that the trophy at the end, the World Series winner, is a tin can, a tin thing, and I'm not quoting it properly because it's just that insulting. Baseball is my favorite pastime. It is my favorite sport, but I see the numbers. I see how it's on the decline as far as with viewers and fans, and this, whatever this is, is or end up being, it's gonna make it worse if games are missed or if the plot is lost. Now, if I had to pick and choose a side, whether it's billionaires or millionaires, hey, I'm going with the millionaires. But I'm not here to bring up something that we already know and it's at the beginning stage. What I'm concerned about is the mismanagement. What I'm concerned about is how, please tell me, somebody from MLB, you not having enough foresight to understand and know that these new balls that you created, these new baseballs that you made, that you were going to run out mid-season, a quarter of the way through, who knows? No one knows. The public, we sure don't know. But you ran out of the new balls that you made and you had to go back to the old balls. But why is this different? Why does this mean anything? Because the weight, they're different. It's a difference. You chose to go this new direction because you were trying to manufacture a certain result. But then you didn't have enough foresight to understand or have enough foresight to know that you're gonna need more or there was gonna be a number of these new balls that you would need, but yet, you had to go back to the old balls. Mid-season, quarter of the way through, 75% of the way through, who knows? And stat geeks, and I say that in the, the best way, I say that in the best way, good meaning. Stat nerds, analytics people, how are they gonna be able to calculate and figure out what determined what when you changed a standard? You changed a set standard, so now the numbers are, who knows, misleading, to say the least, or at best. And don't say, or oh, I'm not a betting man. I'm not a betting man. If I were a betting man, I would be betting that I'm upset. These could have changed the outcomes of games or changed the outcomes of bets. So how are these betting institutions what are they going to do about this how are they going to make this right are there some fine print saying if you are betting on this game this is a risk that you are taking even though things are being manipulated behind the scenes that you have no clue about there's no set standard the set standard is a moving target some balls may be the same some balls may be different some may be the new MLB ball, some may be the old MLB ball, who knows? But we do know there's a difference in the outcome of when the ball is put in play, hit, pitched, or whatever. So basically, it is playing a game within a game and not knowing. If I was a better, and if I was a betting man, and if I was a betting institution, I'd be upset. I'd be upset. But then, you should be upset at yourself. You should be upset at yourself because how many times does MLB have to show you that they're incompetent? How many times do they have to show you that they don't know what's going on? And then, and then we get to this point of no CBA. Who lets it run down? this far who lets it run down this far and that's not a serious question because we know the answer to it Manfred 
you are doing a terrible job. But I'm not telling you anything that you don't already know. I'm not telling you anything that you don't hear already. It's like, do you really have to be the smartest guy in the room? Because if so, I'd suggest you hang out in empty rooms. Because some of these decisions just don't make sense. And when it comes down to it, the fans will not come back. The fans will go away. And I don't blame them. They won't come back. You'll get your wish. You will get your wish and maybe some of the owners want to destroy baseball as well and don't care for the sport anymore too. If that's the case, it might be coming. It might be coming. And players, I do have some friendly advice for you. Tell them to open up the books and start from there. Make that be the number one demand because we already see it and have so much evidence of the incompetence. Can you really trust a word that they say? Open them books. Create.